probably it's going to be the last one. They try to investigate. Why is it that these people, they keep following this man of God after so many attacks that we have written in newspapers? Mm. So the conclusion is, I think his people are brainwashed. You've heard that, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You guys are yeah. brainwashed. <laughs> 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 they think that our people are brainwashed. Notice. I don't want to get into this brainwashing thing, but, <laughs> but you must also understand that there is a, there is a washing involved. <laughs> Whoever has been brainwashed has a, a clean brain. Anyway, but notice, after an attack, and then another attack, and then another attack, and then another attack, a reasonable man of God must look at the, and measure the impact. That he has made mm, in mm. trying to stop this individual. Yes. Yes. And then you see him soaring, right. flying, increasing. Mm, 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 mm. Now you say, okay, let me find another attack. Let me see how, how and then you, you bring on another attack, and then you attack again, then you, you assess if mm. you're smart. That is if you're smart. Mm, mm, okay. Mm. Unless if your head is empty. But if you're smart, mm. you assess. Am I making any progress? Hmm. If there's no progress, you have to invent another attack again. Mm. Okay? Mm. You attack, you attack, but you have to come back and assess. Mm. Okay? Is the crack increasing mm. or mm. Is sealing up? Mm. <laughs> then, when after so many years of trying to bring down a man, he keeps on flying above your head. When you finally get to that conclusion where you say, I think I blame his people. His people are fools. How come they keep on following such a man? But before you reach that conclusion, where you then think that I think his people are brainwashed, why do they keep on following him? You must also look at whether you are not behaving just like them. Because if everything that you have said is an alert message, if that is a warning that you have been giving to his followers mm. so that they stop following him, it means you are the messenger who got the message. You are the most accurate person who got that information concerning the men that you are criticizing, right? Mm. Yes. Follow this. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> so you should have been the first person to leave that man that you are criticizing. And not follow yeah. and stop and not stop, stop follow <laughs> no, no, stop, stop. Stop yeah. because, if, because if he's getting the information <laughs> to criticize yeah. from following from following from following <laughs> right so when you before you start blaming the people that you think these people are brainwashed how come they keep on following such a man mm. yeah. that's exactly what you're what doing, you're doing. Yeah. you're as brainwashed as there <laughs> <laughs> because the same thing that after saying everything that you have said concerning the man you still keep following him. That's exactly what is happening. Which means there is a, an anointing upon that man. That you can't just let him go. You can't, no matter what you try. No matter what you try. <laughs> Pastors, if we are to put in newspapers here that have written negative things concerning no. you, <laughs> oh, we have to remove everything from this house. Look, Nothing has not been said mm. Mm. concerning me. Every single journalist that gets into, uh, that picks a pen, he wants to find a story against me. I, I've never gone down even an inch. Yes, Father. <laughs> Instead, you've been soaring. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Life is becoming better and better. <laughs> mm. 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 <laughs> Can you imagine? Yes. Mm. So they begin to wonder what sort of people are these that follow such a man. Confused people. They are as confused as you are. Okay? Yes. They are as confused <laughs> as you are. At least you are even worse because you got the revelation. Yet you keep on following him. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 
they are yet to get the revelation that you got. Uh -huh. But you are on top when it comes to revelations and understanding this man. But how come you just can't let go of the man? Father, please allow me to say this. I was watching one of the programs after we had done a broadcast and when you continuously watch, mm -hmm. you become a top fan. Mm -hmm. So I saw a critique who was labeled a top fan on one of the Facebook posts. <laughs> and I was wondering... <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't. <laughs> you, 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 you can't, you know. When a certain individual is a part of you, you, you can't get rid of it. <laughs> you can't get... We are doing a mm. wonderful job. Mm. Mm. Speaking mm. into the lives of people. Yes. Okay? Yes. You have 10 people. And everything that you're saying, you have over 900 people who are not listening to you. Mm. Mm. Who are not hearing what you're saying. Mm. 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 <laughs> and yet you're still convinced. <laughs> you're still convinced that you're doing a great job. <laughs> it's a waste of time. Any preacher who tells you, don't go to that church. They will take your money. They are warning you against losing your money, not your soul, not your spirit. And you, when you hear them, you think they are the most spiritual men of God. <laughs> Imagine their mission is to protect money. Mm. They preach money more than we do. Mm. 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 If money is not as important as they say, why warn people? against losing it. Mm -hmm. You're a preacher of money. You're yes. a prosperity mm -hmm. preacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Personally, even if I was in the world, if you tell me there is a witch doctor somewhere, oh, that one is super. Oh, that one is extreme. Uh, oh, that one is the best. And then you, I ask you, how much do you pay? And you tell me nothing. <laughs> I'm not going there. Yeah. Right. I'm not going there. Right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's like getting the best car for free. For free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old enough to know that this thing doesn't work. Right. How do you even get to see him if there is no protocol, if there are no restrictions? Mm. Mm. How do you even get to see the man? Right. It's not possible. Mm. People of Zimbabwe and believers all over the world, I want you to know that whatever Makanjua was saying in that video, he was talking about me. He tries to be subtle, but we can read it through that subtlety. Yes. He's trying to appear ambiguous by mentioning the names of newspapers and journalists. Mm. But journalists do not preach. He ended up saying, you preach about me, you have a revelation. Journalists do not have revelations. He's mm. talking about a preacher. Mm. I don't know who told Makandiwa the number of people that we preach to. Mm. And I think he is very naive in thinking that he is the preacher with the most number of people in Zimbabwe. Mm. <laughs> the fact that he has more people who gather in one place doesn't necessarily mean that he has more the people. Churches like Roman Catholic, yes. Yes. they have billions of followers. Yes. Most of the people are in villages. They don't afford data. Mm. They don't have TVs and airtime. Mm. But they are Catholics. Churches like AFM, they have by far more people than him, yes. even though he stole some of them from, 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 from the, those churches. Churches like Salvation Army, Zayoja, mm. they don't just gather in one place yes. like what he does. But anyway, I have responses to Mr. Makandua. You know, unlike him, Androve Bembera, because number one, you have to be, if you believe what you are saying is true, don't hide. Yes. Be open. Be bold. Yes. And be also straight to the point. Mm -hmm. 
there is a war between me and Makandiwa, and this war did not start now. It's unfortunate that people are starting to realize this war now. But this man, he sent thugs to beat me up more than once. Mm -hmm. In Marondira, he paid the thugs to beat me up. There is a case right now at Marondira Central Police Station. Yes. And his Marondira pastor hired the thugs to come and harass us, mm -hmm. beat us up when we were doing an outreach program at the bus terminus in town in Marondira. He also sent this guy, this pastor of his, who is called Savan. Mm -hmm. When I did a crusade in Bindura, mm -hmm. he came to attack us. Mm -hmm. The police were there. They stopped whatever the hooligans came trying to do. Mm -hmm. In Mutare, I did yeah, an outreach yes. program. Yes. Mm -hmm. And one man called Pastor Tebu, who is late now, who used to blindly follow him, just like these two naives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> who always laugh at every nonsense that he says. Right. On 6 August 2016, yes. my car was bent down by people who were sent by Makandiwa. Mm. As I talk to you right now, Makandiwa has employed a certain political flip-flopper called Simbachi Kanza, who is in the UK to dig up debt and launch a smear campaign to discredit me. Yes. They even went to the extent of paying people, some of them are family to me, so that they could come out on TV or on social media to say Chwenga is a womanizer, Chwenga works for ZANU-PF, Chwenga is irresponsible and all that. So this is an open war. And that is why I described him as a thug. Mm -hmm. Something that a lot of people didn't know about until this war is broken out like this. Mm -hmm. He appears to be decent, but he is a thug. Mm -hmm. He hires hooligans and pays them to harass me. So the politicians want to kill me. Makandiwa also <laughs> is planning to kill me. Yes. But I want to respond to him. I will respond to him, and I hope when he also talks about me again, he is not going to try to be ambiguous because he is clearly talking to me. Yes. Mm -hmm. And before I respond to all that you are saying, I want you to know that I didn't just start by exposing Makandiwa as a thief, a fraud star, and one that is misrepresenting the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I made an effort to meet with him and discuss doctrinal issues. At first, he ignored us. He thought we were not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. It is now that he is seeing the impact of our work, that he is now responding openly on social media, hiring people without identity, people without morals, people without principles, people who are basically vagabonds to fight his battles on his behalf. I think the first thing I want to say to Makandiwa is even though you appear to be ignoring me, we are actually talking to each other. Mm -hmm. How about in the open forum of the social media yes. where we both broadcast our work. Mm -hmm. You think you are bigger than me you think I don't deserve your attention. And all that arrogance is what get, got you where you are today. Mm -hmm. There was never anyone who could tell you, you are going south until you are now a full blown out sangoma. Yes. <laughs> like you are today. Chirukuto tauratese mfunke babari jo. Chirukuti, daimaka change era, tango sangana. Tatongo tauratese. Tatongo daira na tofura na magwa. Pamuhondo hika pere. Tatongo taura mpufuge tese. Yivide ni mkoa shiki. Tatongo tauratese. You are saying you don't have time to respond to nonsense. But you are responding. 
<laughs> by saying that you are you responding. Are responding. Yes. yes. Saka kushukuza hako kwa mina hako. Kwa mashingi makandiwa. Ina andiku nekukuti prophet. <laughs> Nekuta amsi prophet. Muringanga. Yes. Okay. Saka ndika kuti mkoma pachivano. Ndenda kukuza hii. Because pama kore panyama. Muri mkuru kwa ndiri. Mm. Kana mkata amu kwa ndekuti daira. Amu fungo oti muri kuti daira hii. <laughs> Dika tukuna mkoma neosoni. Kuma neuso ndipe omari. Yes. Uba vata andi kwa nsa ukudaira. Vata ndi daira. Yes. Dika vunzu kwa nsa vaka tukudi ndi noto ndi vaka pintu la vachiti. Hava kwenye kundi daira. Yes. Saka tatota uratese. Yes. Chirikuta uratese kufunge mkoma manu. Daita ngo sangana. Yes. Tika taura na uzefa ngeli. Yes. Irina andisi muvengu wenye. Imimi murimu vengu wa kristu. Mm. Ini njino pari za shokura kristu. Yes. Saka baba wangu inini. Ndiova maka maka na nao. Yeah. Saka kana swada haro andi kwenye kuita shamungari. Yes. Tinoto ngo burana bukozi. Mi mruku shiza mdara wangu. Mruku taura mm. shoku nyepa. Mm. Pa msoro pa jesu. Mm. Na uwe kutivano vano fanyira utanga wa visa mari kuti mungarawa kumbo rere. Aisi mbae beri yoni. Mungarawa kaburitza Israel mu Egypt. Asina cha Torah mm. kuna Israel. Akatuwe endi sa ukena. <laughs> Even the question of following each other. He is also following because he is responding. You see, he said, I am becoming his follower. He was talking yes. to me. I am not naive. Yes. You Very said, much. if someone is following you, yes. all the time, there is an anointing about him. Mm. Talking about you, Mr. Magandio, is not following you. Mm. But if you are aware that I am following you, that means you are admitting that you are also following me. Oh, yes. Yes. Otherwise, how do you know that I am following you yeah. if you are not following me? Yes. In Indrukutera, Imimurkunditera, in Ipandri Kukufumra, Imimurku responda, Sakatrukutera. This great standing is not going to help you. Yes. But concerning the issue of following each other, I want to ask Mr. Makandiwa a question. Mm -hmm. And before I ask that question, I'm going to read three scriptures. The first one is John chapter 10, verse 10. It's John chapter 10, verse 10. That's the first one. I am going to ask Mr. Makandiwa a question concerning following. And before the question comes, yes. I prefer to, to work with the scriptures. Because without the scriptures, I find my work very, very difficult. Yes. I don't want to speak from my mind like you do. Mm -hmm. I am a minister of the gospel. I don't preach. I don't teach people fables like you do. I preach the gospel. Yes. And in order for you to preach the gospel, you need to open scriptures. Mm -hmm. What you were saying is not part of the gospel mm -hmm. because it's not based on scripture. Mm -hmm. John chapter 14. Okay, let's start by reading John 10 verse 10. Yes. The thief comes not but for to steal yes. and to kill and to destroy. Yes. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Okay, he was talking about the devil. Yes. yes. Let's read John 14 verse 30. Yes. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you. Yes. For the prince of this world comes and there is nothing in me. Let us read John 8 verse 44. You are of your father the devil. Yes. And the last of your father you will do. Yes. He was a murderer from the beginning. Yes. And I bought not in the truth. The devil does not abide in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. There is no truth in the devil. When he speaks a lie. When the devil lies. He speaks of his own. Yes. For he is a liar. Yes. And the father of it. Okay. Matthew 23, verse 31. Wherefore, you be witnesses unto yourselves. Yes. That you are the children of them which killed the prophets. Verse 32. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers. 33. You serpents. Yes. You generation of vipers. Yes. How can you escape the damnation of hell? 
So in all these scriptures, Jesus was talking about the devil. Yes. Was Jesus following the devil? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Definitely not. <laughs> uh, yeah. Does talking about someone means you want to learn from him? <laughs> How many times did Jesus talk <laughs> about the, the devil? devil? Was Jesus following the devil? Oh, no. No? <laughs> I'm wondering why Mr. Makandiwa is thinking like a five-year-old. You know, sometimes before you talk, mm. you have to also consider whether everyone is thinking at your level yeah. mm -hmm. in order for you to think that you are actually saying something comprehensible and meaningful. Maybe you don't know why we listen to you and then we expose you. Mm -hmm. If you think that listening to you and exposing you, it means we want to learn from you. Then I don't know which world you live in. <laughs> I don't know which world you are living in. But let's read the book of Ephesians 5 verse 11. And you have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. But rather reprove them. Now, replace the word reprove them. Put the word rebuke. And you have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. But rather rebuke them. Yes. How then do we rebuke works of darkness that are unfruitful if we don't know them? You want us to say Makandiwa is a false preacher, but we don't know what he's preaching. And you are going to say, how do you say someone is wrong if you don't know what is preaching? Mm -hmm. By listening to you, we are going to show the world that you are a false preacher. We don't just say you are a false preacher. Mm -hmm. We open scriptures and prove what you are preaching is false because it violates this scripture, that scripture, and that scripture. Our Lord talked about people like you, Mr. Makandiwa. And I want you to tell me that Jesus was also following false prophets. Three times he talked about false prophets. Was he also a follower of Magandiwa? Matthew 24, verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise. Many false Magandiwas shall rise. And shall deceive many. And they shall deceive many people. Matthew 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ. False Christ. And false prophets. False prophets. And yes. shall show great signs and wonders. Great signs and wonders. In yes. so much that if it were possible, yes. they shall deceive the very elect. This is the second time Jesus is talking about false prophets. Yes. Matthew 7, verse 15 to 17, maybe to 16. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly they are ravening wolves. Yes. Verse 16. You shall know them by their fruits. Yes. Do men gather grapes of thorns? Yes. Or figs of thistles? You see now. Verse 17. Even so, every good tree brings forth good fruit. Yes. But a corrupt tree brings forth evil fruit. Verse 18. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Yes. Neither can a corrupt tree tree bring forth good fruit. Verse 19. Every tree that brings not forth good fruit yes. is hewn down yes. and cast into the fire. 20. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. Who is he talking about? The false yes. prophets. He's talking about what? Talking about the false, the false prophets. prophets. Yes. Mr. Magandio, when you surround yourself with the clowns, you don't have time to find how to improve what you are doing. <laughs> Actually, you could improve your work yes. if you were going to listen to me. Yes. Jesus did not say, you shall know them mm -hmm. by their barrenness. Mm -hmm. He said, you shall know them by their, their fruits. fruits. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which means false prophets yes. produce fruits, fruits. Yes. but unwanted fruits, uh, uh, wild grapes, uh, yeah. 
So if you say people were expecting me to fall down, but I'm flying, I'm soaring, mm -hmm. you are actually saying you are producing fruit. Yes. yes. It's according to scripture. Yes. False prophets produce fruit. Yes. But the fruits are called the thistles. Yes. Mm. They are called the thorns and the briars. Yes. The fact that there are so many people following you, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that you are correct. Yes. Jesus said in Matthew 24, verse 11, yes. Beware of false prophets. Yes. Many false prophets shall rise. Yes. How many are going to be deceived? Many. He didn't say, and shall deceive a few. Mm -hmm. It says, he shall deceive many. Yes. Yes. So everyone who is following you right now yes. is deceived. Yes. And Jesus spoke about it. Mm -hmm. He said the false prophets yes. are going to deceive many. Yes. And you are saying, if I am false, how come many people are following you? Uh. <laughs> are you a retard? <laughs> are you demented? <laughs> are you a Down syndrome? The scripture is saying, Many false prophets shall arise. Yes. They shall deceive many. Yes. The Bible does it. say many false prophets shall arise. They shall deceive a few. You are not getting the point. You are a false prophet, Mr. Yes. Makandiwa. Yes. So many people. You have, have deceived many. Yes. He talks about his success. Which success? Uh, yeah. Which success are you talking about? Is your dynamo zikatamba bor? Akuzuku zara u dynamo. You are a successful fraudster. You are a successful con man. Yes. We are not worried about your success. We are worried about the souls that you are deceiving. Mm -hmm. Among the people you have deceived. Yes. There are so many people that you have deceived which are supposed to be saved. And Jesus wants to save those people. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you heard that he said something that is grossly violative of the doctrine of Christ. Oh, yes. He said, even in the world, when you go to consult a sangoma, mm -hmm. which is said to be powerful, yes. Of all the examples that he could think of, <laughs> he thought of giving an example of a Sangoma. Because he is one. <laughs> He's a Sangoma who has been who has sought for some strange powers yeah. in Ghana. Yes. Or from Ghana. And people are going to say this Sangoma is very powerful. Yeah, that one is powerful. Yes. And Makandiwa was saying. And if we ask how much does he charge, mm -hmm. and if they say nothing, mm -hmm. I want to go there. I want to know the protocol and the restrictions. And mm -hmm. that lunatic said, Father, it's like somebody who say he got the best car for free. <laughs> and they laughed. <laughs> I will show you scriptures that Makandiwa violated mm -hmm. by putting a price on the salvation gospel. Oh, yes. Because something should be worth something. Yes. If there is no price, it means it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And he gave an example of a sangoma. Yes. If a sangoma doesn't charge any money, he doesn't have power. Mm -hmm. Therefore, Jesus must charge some money. Otherwise, he is important. Jesus <laughs> And he that is no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money Aha. and without price. Without a price, Mr. Makandiwa. Without what? A price. a price. Without a price. Yes. Jesus is saying, come and buy. The reason why Jesus doesn't want us to pay 
is that he has paid in full yes. at the cross. Yes. Jesus did not pay a deposit, Mr. Makandiwa, mm -hmm. for which we are supposed to supplement, to augment with some monthly installments or subscriptions. Mm -hmm. He paid in full. Yes. Jesus, Maria Kubatira Rupones, Akatavanote, and the Vajas of Pedis, Akabadra in full. That's why in Isaiah he said, Come and buy without money, yes. without price. Yes. yes. Wherefore, do you spend money for that which is not bread? Yes. And your labor for that which satisfies not? Yes. Hearken diligently unto me. Yes. And eat ye that which is good. Yes. And let your soul delight itself in fitness. Three. Incline your ear. Yes. And come unto me. Yes. Hear. And your soul shall live. Yes. And I will make an everlasting covenant with yes. you, even the sure mercies of David. So, in the everlasting covenant, yes. nothing is chargeable with money. Yes. The scripture is clear come without money, yes. come without a price. Mm -hmm. Because it was paid for by Christ. Oh, yes. Acts 20, verse 28. Mm -hmm. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and yes. to all the flock over the which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers yes. to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased mm -hmm. with yes. his own blood. Yes. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 and 14. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear yes. son, in whom we have redemption yes. through his blood, even the forgiveness yes. Of sins. Yes. So the price that was paid, it was his blood. Yes. By asking people to pay you money, Mr. Makandiwa, you are replacing the blood of Jesus yes. with ordinary silver and gold. Yes. Concerning which Apostle Peter warned in First Peter 1 18 to 20. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things, yes. as silver and gold. Such as dollars and pounds and euros, those are corruptible things. Yes. Our redemption was not with corruptible things, Mr. Yes. Makandiwa, yes. from your vain conversation. Yes. yes. From your vain conversation received by traditions from your fathers. Yes. But with the precious blood of Christ, yes. as of a land without blemish. Aha! Uh -huh. Verse 20. Who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times. It for was you. the blood of the Lamb without blemish. Yes. The church was paid for yes. by his own blood. That's why you should never ask any believer. To exchange a blessing with money. Mm -hmm. Because such is corruptible things. Just like silver and gold. In Acts chapter number 8. There was a certain man who believed in Makandiwa's gospel. Yes. He offered money for spiritual things of God. Mm -hmm. His name is Simon and he was a sorcerer just like Makandiwa. Yes. Let us hear verse 17 what it says. Then laid their hands on them, yes. and they received the Holy Spirit. Peter and John laid hands on the Samaritan believers, and believers received the Holy Spirit. What happened? And when Simon saw that through laying on of the apostles' hands, yes. the Holy Spirit was given, yes. he offered them money. He offered money. Just like Makandiwa wants money, yes. the sorcerer offered the money. Yes. Did the apostle Peter receive that money? Saying, give me also this power. Give me the blessing. That on whomsoever I lay hands, yes. he may receive the Holy he Spirit. He wanted to purchase Holy Spirit with money. Mm. What did Peter say? But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee. May you perish with your money, Makandiwa. Yes. Because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Hey. Verse number 21. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter. 
for thy heart is not right in the sight of God. This is why we are proclaiming these messages. Yes. yes. Makandiwa's heart is not right in the sight of God. Yes. He thinks the gift of God can be purchased with money. Yes. Give us back verse 20. May your money perish with you. Yes. Because you have thought in your mind mm -hmm. that some gift of God yes. can be purchased with money. Mm -hmm. Your heart is not right in the sight of God. Baba ema kandi wa mkoma shingi, moyo wenyu auna kumira shaka na kapamberi pamangar. Nekuti mufungwa zenyu muno funga kuti zipo shamangar, zino tengwa ne mar. Izo zondo zirikuramba kani maguaro. Peter aka ofkwa mara kati kwete, chipo chamangar, hachi tengwa ne mar. Chaka tengwa kare neropa le pamuchingi kwa. Dukusa kajesa katukuna hiza. Ba uze kutu huya imu sinamari. Huya ipa sinamtengo. Ndiku upai chino guta mwe ya yenyu. Dicha kupinze emu sungano ino gara. Neku singa pere. Sungano yeru gara. Muruku pari za kutishipo. Shwa mngari jino tengwa ne mari. Parara hii imiwa makandi wa ne mari yenyu. May your money perish with you makandi wa. May your money perish with you makandi wa. Because you think the gift of God can be purchased with money. Yes. Do you think Makandiwa was going to do what Peter did in Acts 8? He rejected money and he said, no. Yes. It will never happen. Mm -hmm. The gift of God is not tradable with money. Oh, yes. To God, money is perishable. Mm -hmm. The gifts of God are eternal. Yes. You can't obtain them by paying a corruptible amount yes. of money. That's why Jesus died on the cross. If God was going to be appeased with our money, there were rich people in this world who could have paid God money for us to purchase salvation without Jesus dying for us on the cross. It's a traversity of the doctrine of Christ. Yes. It's a crime. It's a spiritual insurgence. Mm. It's a spiritual coup against the doctrine of Christ. <laughs> it's not correct. So if you want to respond to me, if you want to engage me, why don't we talk about the doctrine? Yes. Why are you paying people money to find data about me? Do you think if you come up today right now with a girl who is pregnant, who is going to say, Chwenga impregnated me, I will stop preaching because of that. <laughs> Joseph was in prison for a period that we don't know. Yes. But because it was a lie, eventually it was exposed to be a lie. Yes. You can't lie about someone for the rest of your life. Oh, yes. The truth will finally come out. Mm. But in the meantime, our focus is on the gospel. Yes. If you believe that what you are preaching is true, why don't we meet and discuss the doctrine? Oh, yes. You are responding. Isusu zedu takapua. Ana yaka chena pafange. Ati njenge njenge. Ati rove bembera. Ati taure jitipane mwe muruma aruko taurane jangu. Tutorodima <laughs> Pati kufumurai, at least kutaku protecta mari evanu. Yes. Kutaku poli protecta mge ya evanu. Oh, yes. Donya ya china ayo. Saka tinoku batayi ni kuti imi ndimu kupari zamari. Yes. Uye kana tikati vanu, varu kubiri wa. Tinenge nchita uto tivare ike kubiri wa kutipa kwa shani sa mari. Kuronga murizavo ni kwenye sa vana wako kuchukoro. Yes. Ni kutengira vana wako embe. Niku waka zimba ze kuti ibo wakari pa ni kuti waku pe imari imi mchiva nye pera kuti mwaracha wa komporera. Mboku pa imari imono waka imba, iwa wasara wasina imba, 
Vonzi mungaracha kupa imba. Imi mzina kumirira o mungaru kutakupe imba. Matora maricha yo mkanovaka imba chayo. Umba hafa yo. Saka iku kuprotecta marize wano. Kwa kashate kana tekada kui protecta. Yes. Mapurisa shuaru kusunga wano. Andi tukuda kuprotecta property ze wano. Yes. Eh. Hey, mshumiri wefangeri. Mupurisa wa jeso. Yes. Do saka pita haka taura kuna, kuna Simon. Kuti wewe moyo wako au nakuna haka pamberi pamgari. I defend Fangeri Peter. Angada ya kanku ti sayi monaru kura zika da kutenga mwe ya mcheni. Kengo siyana nae. Ano zoti ntuku mtewira ntuku ntuku na kiruwa nae. Ati tuku na kiruwa nemi mama kandiwa. Tuku to katas kwa nemi. Yes. Mwara as kufara ne jamurguit. Yes. Atu mainini kuti ntuku uze kutu mrugunye pera wana. Yes. Tende uka. Yes. So if makandiwa thinks that he is too big, he can't face me. But the question is, why is he hiring thugs, false witnesses, paying them money? Mm -hmm. And today we saw him asking people for money. Mm -hmm. He could not be asking for money if he hadn't paid people to tarnish my image. Yes. People mm -hmm. are giving Magandua money thinking that it's going to God. Magandua is taking that money, paying hooligans, <laughs> go and fight Chiwenga, yes. record videos. And tell the whole world Chiwenga is a wicked man. Mm -hmm. Chiwenga is a ritualist. He killed his wife so that he can have powers. Mm -hmm. I have never promised anyone that I can heal. I don't need the powers. Mm -hmm. If anyone who needs the powers between you and me, it is you who needs more powers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because you lied to people that you can heal the sick. Mm -hmm. You can solve their problems. Yes. I preach salvation. Yes. It doesn't need powers. Mm -hmm. It just needs grace. And I will preach the gospel. Oh, yes. I just need a mic and a Bible. Yes. I don't need to go to a sangoma mm. to do rituals to yes. kill my wife. Kwenya, kuna kufiwe, Reverend Makandi. You are asking people to tell the world that I killed my wife. But your father lost children when you were still very young. Did your father sacrifice your brothers mm -hmm. so that you can be a prophet? At least his evil side is coming out. Yes. The world now knows that Makandiwa is a thug. He's hiring Simbachi Kanza of the Zimai and other people to speak evil against Chuenga. San PF is attacking Chuenga on this side. Makandiwa and other fraudsters are also joining hands to fight me. But my question to you is, what exactly are you afraid of? Mm. What exactly are you afraid of? Mm. When Lazarus was raised from the dead, Mr. Makandiwa, yeah. how much money did Mary and Martha give Jesus mm. for that to happen? Yeah. When Jesus resurrected the daughter of Jairus, mm -hmm. how much money did Jesus receive from Jairus? for the daughter to be resurrected. How much money? In Acts chapter 3, Mr. Makandio, there was a man who wanted money from Peter and John. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in verse number 3, mm -hmm. Acts chapter 3, verse number 3. Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple? The man was unable to walk. He sat by the beautiful gate. Mm -hmm. He saw Peter and John about to go into the temple. Mm -hmm. What was he asking? Asked in alms. He was looking for money as a beggar. Yes. Peter and John, may you give me money. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, look on us. Yes. And he gave it unto them. Yes. Expecting to receive something of them. The men expected to receive money from Peter and John. Then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. Yes. But such as I have give I thee. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Verse 7. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. Yes. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received the strength. Yes. And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple. Yes. Walking and leaping and praising God. Peter and John 
they didn't have money. Yes. In which case, Mr. Magandiwa, that was the right reason for them to ask money from the beggar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the man was also a beggar. He mm -hmm. also didn't have money. Yes. Yes. If what you are preaching is true, mm -hmm. then Peter and John should not have healed this yes. man yes. by the power of God. Mm -hmm. They could have said, even Sangomas are not for free. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Yes. <laughs> if we give you this salvation for free, we will be fake. It has to come to you at a cost. Peter and John said, money we don't have. Mm -hmm. And that was the major reason why they should have said, give mm -hmm. us something. At least we can heal you. Mm -hmm. Maybe from your begging, you already received some alms from those that came before us. Give us that money in exchange for your healing. He didn't have money, Mr. Makandiwa. And yet he was healed. Yes. He went into the temple jumping up and oh, rejoicing. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. If he was going to be asked, how were you healed? He was going to say, by the grace of God. Oh, yes. Grace is not grace mm -hmm. if works are included. The woman with the issue of blood, mm -hmm. how do you attend to her? Because the Bible is clear. Let's look at Mark chapter 5. Where should we start? Let's start from verse number 27. Let's start from verse number 25. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. She had an issue of blood. She was sick yes. for 12 years. And had suffered many things of many physicians. Yes. And had spent all that she had. Yes. And was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. So if this woman had spent everything that she had, yes. it means if everyone is asking for money, she is now in a fix. Yes. She no longer has hope. Mm -hmm. She will never be saved. Mm -hmm. Because all the physicians took her money promising her deliverance, healing. It never came. Yes. She actually grew worse. Yes. Yes. What happened? When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. Yes. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, yes. I shall be whole. Yes. And straight away the fountain of her blood was dried up. Yes. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Now, the questions I have for Mr. Makandiwa is such a person cannot join your church. Mm -hmm. If we have a widow right now or an orphan or a poor couple or a poor family, yes. they have a spiritual problem which needs a spiritual solution. Mm -hmm. They can't join Makandiwa's church. Mm -hmm. Because he is preaching a doctrine in which it has to cost you some money right. for God to attend to your problem. Mm -hmm. People like this woman are not going to be assisted in his oh, church. Yes. They yes. have no money. Mm -hmm. They lost money to fake preachers and fake prophets and yes. fake doctors. Yes. Just like you. Mm -hmm. Jesus came. She touched Jesus' garment without an appointment, yes. without a protocol. She got healed. Yes. What did you say about such a situation? Murukuda kutivano vaku badare kutimu govana matira. Akambo cha jukwa wana Jesu wa muno ziva diari. Kwa akacha jukwa na pita nde upi. Kwa akacha jukwa na po nde upi. Life have ni akafuru wana po. Akatukuwa wana muno ndi badara to na na wano no wano. Iri kupi iri pavesa. Because as you freely you were given one, freely you shall give. Mm -hmm. Now, there are people who are criticizing me for being jealous of Magandua. They say, Chuenga, you are poor. I don't know why people are calling me poor. <laughs> but I don't think I have the energy to argue with them. I have agreed with them that naturally, financially, I am broke. Yes. I don't need to argue with you that I have money. I have never said I have money. Mm -hmm. So if you say to me you are poor, I will say, I knew it before you said it. <laughs> I don't have money. But despite whatever insult they are hailing at us, yes. 
Some of the arguments they put across to defend Makandiwa is Makandiwa is rich. Makandiwa, you can't come to his level. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Makandiwa's level is. Because yes. spiritually, he is at ground zero. He knows nothing about Jesus. If you are talking about his flamboyance, the expensive suits, the expensive cars, the expensive house, Maybe I look too poor, maybe I look unpresentable. So you think my message is wrong because I don't have as, as much money as Makandiwa has. I want to remind you of what Makandiwa was before he was what he appears with today. Mm. Before we do that, can we finish that video? I want us to finish it. And then I will show you that he was not as flamboyant as he is now. Personally, even if I was in the world, if you tell me there is a witch doctor somewhere, oh, that one is super. Oh, that one is extreme. Uh, oh, that one is the best. And then I ask you, how much do you pay? And you tell me nothing. <laughs> I'm not going there. Yeah. Right. I'm not going there. Right. Mm, mm. It's like getting the best car for free. For free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old enough to know that this thing doesn't work. Right. How do you even get to see him? If there is no protocol, if there are no restrictions, mm -hmm. how do you even get to see the man? Right. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. It's not possible. Mm. Jesus would make it hard for the people. Mm. When sick people were coming to him, the Bible says, and then he went up the mountain. Right. Just so that they would crawl. Yes. Pay a price to get to him. Mm. There's always a price. Yes. Why would you go up the mountain mm. instead of coming down the mountain? Mm. He went up the mountain mm. so that mm. lame people mm. would pay the price. Mm. Mm. Commit themselves to their healing. Mm. Brethren, did you hear that? That the reason why Jesus went into the mountain, <laughs> he wanted people to pay the price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is absolute heresy. Yes. Absolute falsehood. Mm -hmm. My name is Apostle Chwenga, and I'll prove to you today mm -hmm. yes. That unlike Makandiwa, who just talks any nonsense, any trash, mm -hmm. any hogwash that comes into his mind without referring to scripture. I will prove to you that Jesus even visited people that were sick yes. mm -hmm. to heal them. Mm -hmm. It was him who paid the price. Yes. Instead of asking the sick to pay the price, yes. he is the one who paid the price instead. Mm -hmm. We are going to start with John chapter 5, verse number 1. He went to the sick. Yes. He paid the price yes. instead of asking them to pay the price. Yes. He paid the price. Mm. The song is there. He paid the debt that I could not pay. Yes. Makandiwa is changing that song. Mm -hmm. It's now saying, we pay the price that he could, could not pay. Hey. What nonsense. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Yes. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethesda, having five porches. In this lay a great multitude of important folk of blind, hold, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Yes. When the angel went down at a certain season into the pool yes. and troubled the water, yes. whosoever then faced after the troubling of the water stepped in.